<laughs> is it weird that it's easier for terrorists to get across our southwest border than it is for Palestinians to get across their southwest border <laughs> into Egypt? The Biden administration, they know about all of this, right? And, and the DHS is kind of referring back to the numbers of the terrorists coming over and the apprehensions and the craziness that's going on at the border. They know about all of this. And the DHS's 2024 Homeland Threat Assessment, it probably states white supremacy is the problem. No, they actually do know that this is a problem as well. They just typically focus on white supremacists. And, and this is a quote from individuals with terror Tourism connections are interested in using established travel routes and permissive environments to facilitate access to the United States. Here, let me rewrite that for you. Can we pull that back up? Let me rewrite that. I'm just going to take a pen to this. Individuals who are terrorists, not with terrorism connections, I think they can rewrite that a little bit better, are interested in using known travel routes where nobody gives an F. And they can just walk right in. I'm talking about the southern border where we don't have a wall. Narrated by Gerald Morgan Jr. I think that's better to the point. Does everybody understand? Like that's what they're talking about. And in fact, a leaked internal CPB, CBP memo. You down with OPP? Dated October 20th, 2023 warns this. San Diego Field Office Intelligence Unit assesses that individuals inspired by or reacting to the current Israel-Hamas conflict may attempt to travel to or from the area of hostilities in the Middle East across the southwest border. Hmm. So, hmm. wall? 20 billion? <laughs> Can we go back to that? Five walls that we're about to send. Five point, <laughs> five point two five walls it's are being sent over in aid right now. I just think we could take one of those walls out of it and send 4.25 walls. Specifically, the memo does list individuals associated with Hamas. Hezbollah, the Palestinian Islamic Jihad. You remember those guys? The Popular Front for Liberation of Palestine. And didn't didn't the Islamic Jihad guys, they're the ones that fired that rocket that didn't make it to its intended target and yep. instead ended up in the parking lot of a hospital burning cars, knocking out a handful of windows and not killing 500 people, yeah. not wounding 600 on top of that. I don't think we've seen retractions, though. Yeah, they have, I'll, they have I'll cheap hold my rockets. breath. They, they have cheap rockets. Well, they, they make them out of the water pipes that the yeah. Israelis and the rest of the world right. gave them so that they could have their own water, and right. instead they'd rather be a victim class and shoot rockets at Israel. But hey, peace, let's go for a ceasefire. You first. Not surprising, considering illegal crossings at the southern border have boomed under Biden. September alone saw 269,735 illegal crossings oh under God. Joe R. Biden, wow. former vice president. Just so you know, his average is about 179,000 per month on Ooh. Donald Trump's watch. It was around 40,000 wow. per month. And look, wow. that's lower, right? Hey, at least cocaine is uh, cheaper, right, guys? Yeah, exactly right. So uh, unfortunately, the authorities also accidentally released a terrorist much wa must watch list, I should say. Right. And uh, it, it is quite Quite reckless, and it includes, uh, you know, films like United 93, Air Force One, Kate and Leopold, and, uh, yeah, that, that last one there is just it's yeah, rather that brutal. Last one, yeah, that's, that's rough. That is pretty brutal. Yeah. Better By the way. Shakespeare in love. It's not, actually. Well, it could be. No, that's it's your not. opinion. Listen, <laughs> I want you to remember those are the ones that are actually caught. I made that case earlier. If you missed it, if you came in late to class, look at somebody else's notes because I talked to you about that. If you're only catching that many, how many are getting past you? I don't think you really know, but usually it's a bit of a multiple and uh, it's not good. And look, don't expect former Vice President Joseph Biden, Joseph Robinette Biden, to do anything about the border. After all, he... He thinks that disenfranchising U.S. citizens with a nonstop, unrelenting stream of immigration uh, is one heck of a plan. An unrelenting stream of immigration. <laughs> nonstop. Nonstop. It's Folks like me who cultural are enrichment. Caucasian of European descent, <laughs> for the first time in 2017, will be in an absolute minority in the United oh, States of America. Absolute minority. Fewer than 50 percent of the people in America from then and on, will be white European stock. That's not a bad thing. That's but don't also, forget. It's also wrong. Don't forget. He doesn't want the immigrants to ever really be in a place of power. We already have a nigger mayor. We don't need any more nigger big shots. Wow, stuck the R, Joe. <laughs> I wouldn't keep doing that. Well, that's, that's right. You said it, and it's on tape, and you can't really undo that. But you're 100% right. He's wrong. 
and that's not fantastic that that you shouldn't having a white minority shouldn't be a thing that you're pr- I don't think it it accomplishes anything in and of itself why is that a goal doesn't matter like it's not solving oh you you think that white people are the problem and in that case then yeah having a minority of white people and having that, that makes a lot of sense to you you think that white people are the extremists and the terrorists? Okay, I, I totally understand that. Yeah, because most terrorist attacks uh, in the world, uh, uh, at least in the last you know fifty years, have been committed by white guys. But you know that's just me. I may, maybe I missed it. I, I don't know. I'm not saying that white guys are great. I'm saying that sometimes maybe not calling them domestic terrorists just because they think that freedom is a good thing <laughs> would, would be a place to start, Joe. But don't go to to PTA meetings and arrest parents. You know, protesting. That's fair because no. if you do take an interest in your child's education and the indoctrination that the government is uh, subjecting them to, that you're probably a radical and you need to be dealt with and uh, we need to get on that. To be fair, though. To be fair. To be fair. We did fair. just recently get all the Asians as whites also because they got really good at math and making money, so they've kind of been... Accor- according to a bunch of school districts on the West Coast, Asians right. are now white. So, you know, they the are? population is increasing. Yeah. Oh. There's a district in Oregon that said, well, you're going to be counted as white now basically because they were scoring too high. Well, let me be the first to say, welcome. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're yes. now not protected in any way. It's <laughs> going to suck. Has Stop Asian Part of the problem. Yeah. They're part of the <laughs> problem. <laughs> that, Tim? Where, where'd that movement go? Yeah, Stop Asian Hate <laughs> went away. But look, do you think the next terror attack... Do, do you guys... A lot of you who watch this show because of our demographics were either really young, maybe not born or maybe around 10 years old when a lot of this was going on. But the reason that I started doing this with Steven back in 2015, 16 radio days was because of terrorism. I I helped teach a class called a Christian's response to Islam. By the way, it's not blowing them up. It's loving them and understanding where people are coming from in Islam. Not just it's not talking about terrorists necessarily because that's going to be kind of a, a fruit a fruitless situation to try to deal with. But it's not talking about like he said we're not denigrating an entire people just because they're Muslim. Like I, I taught this class, it was because of the terrorist attacks. Like I, I studied their eschatology, I studied their end times theology to understand what was driving them. I studied how salvation can be found and it's only guaranteed through jihad. Right, And so you start to understand what motivates people. And so we started seeing terrorist attack after September 11th. Tons of terrorist attack or attacks around the world. And I came on to talk about that. And then it went away for a little while. And then they started focusing on white people. Right, So the demand for terrorism outstripped supply. So they're like, all right, we're going to focus on domestic terrorists and start kind of getting it. And Dinesh D'Souza gets into that in his movie, The Police State, which is out he was out yesterday in theaters, and it's, it's good, also out it's tomorrow. It's a really good doc. I yeah, watched it. absolutely and an fantastic. Important doc, actually. Yeah. yeah, we we aired the interview that I did with him yesterday. But the, my my problem and my question to you is: Do you think that that next terrorist attack that we haven't had to worry about on U.S. soil for a long time is coming back to U.S. soil? Do you think that somebody who crossed over the southern border under former Vice President Joe Biden's open border policy is going to commit an act of terror that now we have to worry about on American soil, or do you think white guys? that like to drink beer every once in a while are really the problem that we need to clean up. Watch Ladder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.